The Latino community in the United States is the fastest growing segment of our population. This community makes enormous contributions to the economic, social, and cultural life of the United States. Unfortunately, many of the health problems and inadequacies of the healthcare system have a desperate impact on this community. I think that it's our responsibility to continue to look for ways that we can cover, help find. I would, I would love universal coverage for everyone. I think that is the, the best plan out there, but we know that medical costs and you know, health insurance is very high. I think we have to work with the health industry, the insurance industry, and in finding a way of working together to help insure you know, that amount of people, 49% of Latinos, I mean, let alone the percentage of all other you know, uh, uh, families that are out there that are uninsured. We as legislators have to find a way of, of really attacking this issue as a priority because we do have so many uninsured out there. Social and economic barriers to care can be higher. Cultural and language barriers may complicate the efficiency of care in a stress delivery system and common chronic illnesses such as diabetes and heart disease, along with lack of insurance, often have a disproportionate prevalence among Latino residents. Furthermore, the current public policy debate regarding undocumented workers has created new barriers, real and fear-based, to adequate access to healthcare services. Today more than ever, after 18 years of healthcare services to Latino residents of Chicagoland, Hispano care has become a must for thousands of Chicago Latino and non-Latino residents. Illinois Masonic launched Hispano care in the mid 80s and I was lucky enough to be an administrator here at the time. And a group of Hispanic physicians came together with the administration and said, we need to put together a program with bilingual, bicultural physicians, healthcare professionals, and other staff to really serve our Latino community. I was one of Hispano Care's first um, scholarship recipients many moons ago. I think in 1993, um, I was able to get a scholarship for, um, for school. I was at Roosevelt University doing a specialty fellowship program and um, East Bottle Care came through with a small scholarship at the time and it, it helped. Today I work at McNeil Hospital in Berwyn and I'm the Director of Maternal Health there. So I oversee all the wonderful birthing process of labor and delivery, mother, baby, the nursery. I work in the community with pregnancy testing centers. I oversee a lot. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Chicago, like other cities in the Midwest and West Coast, became home to many new immigrants and refugees. To respond to the language needs of these communities in the healthcare setting that otherwise may have been overlooked, Illinois Masonic Hospital not only developed a medical discount program called Hispano Care, but made the conscious decision to recruit and hire bilingual and bicultural physicians. Hispano Care's community outreach services grew to serve the needs of thousands of limited English-speaking community residents by providing free services to thousands encountered each and every year. Hispano Care, formed in 1988 by Illinois Masonic Medical Center, is a not-for-profit PPO network of over 200 bilingual and bicultural providers representing nearly 300 office locations. Another huge benefit of Hispano Care is all the effort and fundraising for scholarships for medical professionals, nursing students, and other healthcare professionals in scholarships. Some of the barriers or challenges that I face in pursuit of my career are, well, one of the money. Um, it's very expensive to attend medical school. It's very expensive, the books, the exams that we have to go through, and I don't come from a family of, of money. Hispano Care has helped me with these challenges. Well, one for um, helping me with monetarily, I've received two scholarships from Hispano Care, so it's a great help in pursuit of my career. Since the inception of the scholarship program, we're proud to say Hispano Care has given out over $131,000 worth of scholarship funds to 76 students. To ease the financial burden, providers agree to give enrollees a 20% discount on all out-of-pocket expenses. 
In addition to the discount on physician and hospital fees, members receive discounts on other items traditionally not covered by insurance plans, such as dental, eye, rheumatology, arthritis, MRI services, prescription drugs, and much more. In the last 18 years of Hispanic Cure, we have seen significant change. We have gone from 2,000 members in 1988 to approximately 40,000 members today. Fully 30% of those are persons without health insurance. So we're providing significant service to a community that desperately needs it. And Hispanic Care has been from the beginning, it was founded, it is based, and continues to be funded by Advocate of Lorraine Masonic Medical Center. We have worked uh, cooperatively with uh, Hispanic Care, putting on uh, health fairs, uh, educational programs, uh, disease management type programs, and uh, that has helped us uh, get the word out that Illinois Masonic and Gottlieb Memorial Hospital can effectively serve the needs of the Latino community. The importance of bicultural and bilingual healthcare providers is that so much of the doctor-patient relationship is based on feeling. Translators can help in terms of changing words from one language to the other to get the idea across, but the essence of the feeling is really based on interaction between the doctor and the patient. Hispanocare coordinates community health fairs where preventive services such as diabetes, cholesterol checks, HIV, hepatitis, heel bone density, osteoporosis screenings, eye exams, and thyroid screening are offered free of charge. Hispanocare also offers vaccinations and hosts various symposiums and community seminars, which are free to the public discussing relevant health topics. One of the things that Hispanocare has done has been able to incorporate that programs into our, into our areas where the poor or the uninsured are at. Uh, Hispanocare, you know, through the great leadership of Lucy Aquino uh, Robles, has been able to do just that. Every month, Hispanocare hosts a TV show on Can Access Network cable channel 21 here in Chicago with one or more two network physicians or community partners as guests. Viewers are invited to call in and have their health care questions answered. In addition, Hispanocare has established the Golden Age program which provides discounts to seniors. Members receive a 20% discount on prescriptions for their out-of-pocket expenses when they use a Hispanocare provider. Since the inception of the scholarship program, what we've seen is an increased representation of Latino students in all the healthcare fields, including medical schools, respiratory therapy schools, physical therapy, nursing. And now, since we've been doing it for so long, what we've actually been able to see is the students actually go through the programs and begin their careers giving back to the Latino community, which helped them get their start. I think one of the purposes we get the scholarships is because someone at some table decided that we're going to succeed, that we have potential to make it in this world. And I think what the organizations like Hispano Care looks for is for a recommitment of their dollars back to the communities they serve. They're called Nuestro Compromiso, and that's what they're committed about. They're committed to us so that we can in turn turn around and be committed to them the Latino community will continue to grow and bring major contributions to the economy of the city. Along with that, thousands will continue to need access to bilingual and bicultural health care. Hispano Care has strived since its inception to serve our community. And as long as there is need to access health care, we will continue to be there at the forefront. <laughs>